So we're working to build a character creator similar to WoW Model Viewer inside of the Unity Editor. And in order to do that, we need to get uh, each character out with all of its submeshes. So in order to do this, I had to get a certain version of WoW Model Viewer and World of Warcraft. The classic characters aren't working for me on uh, the current version 9 of World of Warcraft, so I had to run WoW Model Viewer version 9.0.680. A uh, link to that can be found on WoW Model Viewer's Discord. And the World of Warcraft version that I'm running, or not running, but um, that I found worked was on an old hard drive here. That was version 8373535. And so you can see here in the build.info, it's that uh, 835 or 837. 35435 version of WoW. So the combination of that version of WoW with the 90680 version of WoW Model Viewer lets everything luckily work. And so what you need to do is open up WoW Model Viewer, go to the show model control that gets this window open, and then go through here, double click all of the sub meshes. That will turn them green. So I can see here that all of the sub meshes have been turned on. And the character looks pretty crazy, but at that point we're ready to do an export to the FBX and export all the animations. I exported that right to my Unity folder, and I named it Human Male Classic. And here are the Human Male Classic animations. The next thing to do is open up Blender, and I'm just I'll start out with a brand new scene here. And uh, I'm going to delete the cube and go ahead and do import the FBX. And we need to point that at the uh, Unity folder at that Human Male Classic FBX. With all the sub meshes selected, it's 977K. I'm going to do import FBX. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete the camera and the light because I'm going to export the entire scene. And the only thing that really needs to be done here is break this down into sub meshes by material. So select the character himself and uh, go into edit mode. That should let you see all the vertices. Do mesh or uh, select uh, select all to make sure you have everything. Then do mesh separate by material. That's just gonna break this character down into his sub meshes. And now we just need to save it. So do an export FBX. And it is important to pay attention to the export options here because the armature, these options can make the armature not match up with the ones that have been exported. So um, turn off add leaf bones and turn and turn off only deform bones. We don't need to bake the animation because this is just the character himself. The animations are in the other FBX files. So as long as your export looks like this, you should be okay. I'm going to do a go back to this folder and name it Human Male Classic Submeshes. And with the armature set up like this and bake animation turned off, uh, we have everything being exported, even though there are is only an armature and a mesh, but that's okay. We'll hit F export FBX. All right, it looks like it's done, so I'm going to go back to Unity, and it's going to import. And we can go ahead and... There's the submeshes. I know right off the bat, the WoW Model Viewer models need to be upscaled by two. So I'm going to get that fixed real quick. And then go to the rig and set it to a humanoid. An avatar definition create from this model apply. The avatar definition is going to have some errors in it that uh, need to be corrected manually. And so as soon as it gets done importing here, go ahead and click configure. And uh, it's really a good idea to just hit clear, mapping clear, and go through these bones one by one so that you understand a little bit better the... Um, the WoW character uh, structure and uh, how it relates to a human IK setup or a Unity Mechanum character setup. 
but the only things that I'm gonna I think I need to fix here are the feet uh, the foot you could see the toe should be a child of the foot bone and so this is the toe right now and this is the foot so we need to change the foot to this bone so on the left foot I'm gonna put this as the bone and you can see now it turns green and do the same thing on the right leg select the foot and move it to one child down from there and uh, there's a couple other things to fix the for some reason the finger and thumb on this hand are a little bit rotated wrong so I'm gonna rotate those back just a little bit and uh, get that thumb out and for a reference we should look at the other hand and match uh, try to make it a match right there and I'm gonna go look from the front and that's pretty close maybe it's down just a bit and so the hand unity is gonna complain because it says it's not in t-pose um, but without uh, but that's the best way to get those corrected and then there you can see some of the hair here and uh, going out the cape bone something's wrong so uh, actually that one should be okay that's just the upper chest bone and the child of that should be the neck bone this one actually has four ch children which are uh, the left shoulder the right shoulder the neck bone Let's see what the numbers again 20 is the left shoulder 21 is the right shoulder 22 is the neck bone and 23 is going out to the cape so as long as 22 is assigned on the neck bone which it is then we're good to go the child of 22 is 28 that is the second neck bone and 36 is the head bone so the head bone is uh, assigned correctly the eyes aren't I think the eyes are 46 for the left eye that might be the eyelid but 46 for the left eye and it is at 49 for the right eye and then again I, those two might be wrong those might be eyelids because there's two bones right there you can see on the eye there's two right next to each other uh, so I think one of those is the eye and the other one's the eyelid and then the jaw needs to get reassigned the jaw should be this bone right there and that's 55 I'm assigning that one to the jaw and that should be a pretty good uh, mechanum character setup for this specific WoW character uh, the WoW classic character exported from WoW model viewer version 680 9.0.680 and it says the character is not in T-pose. Well, that's because of the two fingers, so we are gonna ignore that. Now, if we go to the animations folder, we can select all of the animations and go ahead and hit the animation tab, the rig tab, and it should be a humanoid and copy from another avatar. And we're gonna select the male classic sub meshes avatar so that it's the avatar that we've just defined okay now that that's done uh, importing those we can look at one of the animations and uh, we should be able to click on that animation and see that it's animating correctly um, so our character is broken down into sub meshes but he's fully rigged and animated correctly uh, even the hair and the cape bones would be animated correctly my biggest concern is those those fingers but I can see the fingers are pretty close um, I think it was that index and thumb so uh, and looking over on this hand it looks uh, pretty close anyways we're real close on the fingers they may be a tiny bit off uh, but we'll leave that to fix later on if necessary for now it looks good to me and all the animations as long as wow model viewer doesn't have an error um, 
all the animations should be working correctly. We can see the bone, for example, on the cape is working. And uh, all right, so we have the animated character, rigged character, ready to go. We could bring him into the Unity scene now. And that is Human Male Classic with the sub meshes. Go ahead and bring him up to zero, zero, zero. And going through here, we have the character broken down and with all of his sub meshes. Now, some of these meshes could be combined. For example, it looks like the eye, uh, you know, these eyes may have, you know, are separated. Uh, so 68 <laughs> for some reason is the first and the last the two um, Glowing eyes So but overall it's pretty good both of the eyes look like they have the same shade or everything uh, Just broken down by the sub mesh. So We've got the chest piece here And we would really just need to go through these and rename them now naming them I could see that there's 68 sub meshes or a 69 and yeah, 69 sub meshes. That should be pretty close to the number of sub meshes from the M2. And look at that. It is about a perfect match. It's 0 to 68, which is 69. So what would need to be done now is go through this list and uh, toggle these on and off kind of by double clicking them. I can't tell what that is yet. But if you double click this stuff, it should turn off. There we go. So number two here is the hands. So it should you, you can either name those hands or match this uh, structure so make a subfolder uh, for the sub meshes called um, you know main right there unpack prefab completely and I could create a an empty and name that main and then we have a facial one and all this um, or instead of doing that I'm just going to do control Z we could probably go through here and identify each mesh and just kind of give it a useful name. I know these are the uh, eye glows and that is 64 and 65. And look at that, they sure enough are separate textures. I thought they would be one, but uh, we have separated this exactly as it should be. So back over here to the human, I've, I've reset it so all the meshes aren't showing so I can see a little bit better. And we can see 64 and 65 are the eye glows. So 64 is the uh, right eye and 65 is the left eye. So if I identify those two, I can name them 60 eye glow, 64 and then eye glows. And that would be a little bit more helpful naming. And so this one, um, I don't need all of this in here. So I could just say this is 64 and it is... Uh, the eye glow on the left eye and if I got that correct 64 is the right eye so it should be 65 and uh, anyways we're gonna I, I have to go through here one by one and uh, with 69 separate meshes and uh, this is the 64 eye glow on the right eye um, which uh, should be down here. So we've got 64 and 65 matching up with uh, where they are in the WoW database, which is 64 and 65, perfect. And now it's just a process of going through and getting all of those done. And uh, then the character is ready for to have the uh, texture applied to him. And the texture can be changed, of course, this is the character with the sub meshes that we need for the character creator.